you know, Nicole wanted me to try other tutors because mm -hmm. really I fell upon Nicole out of a, it was by luck. And so I specifically went and took one of those other classes and I came back and I'm like, oh my gosh, there, there is night and day. Like mm -hmm. I got nothing. I felt like I, and it's not a rip on it's not a rip on the tutor and I don't want to do that either because I don't believe in that. It was a different style. But Nicole has put in so much passion into wanting to make sure that the way in which she teaches is really beneficial. And she's very, very open to feedback. And not only does she take that feedback, but she puts it into place. Like little teeny things. like. Even like today, usually, and Nicole and I talked about this the other day, like putting your answers privately versus listing them. Mm -hmm. Because if you list them and everyone sees them, everyone gets intimidated right off the bat that they put the wrong answer in. And then they feel like the whole class saw that they were the wrong person. Or they automatically pick the right answer because their eyes saw the right answer, not because they thought it was the right answer. Um, and really making you, Nicole takes her classes really, when she teaches you, they take a while because she makes you really think like you have to really do the work and understand it. And hence we did, you know, an hour and something on one passage today, mm -hmm. but I'll guarantee we all walked away understanding these passages better than we did any of the other ones before. Um, and her philosophy is to slow down and understand each area rather than just drill, 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 drill. And you can drill and you might get faster mm -hmm. at some things, but I don't think the overall, you're going to reach your overall goal of your end score. I don't know. Right. And I also like to say how that is, is so like you're kind of doing your review or blind review or triple review, however, you know, we keep hearing it. Um, you're doing that at the same time because you're slowing down and you're okay, where in the passage does it say this or where in, in, and you're comparing and, but you're doing it at a slower pace because eventually that's going to help you while you're, you know, if you're, you know, six, eight, nine weeks out from your test, you will get faster because you're doing it slow. Now, um, you will get faster, um, and you'll get more accurate. And that's what our goal is, is to be more accurate. So Lisa, we've only, I've only really gone over one question type with Lisa and she's nailing her main conclusion homework. She got 12 right on a section. She needs to get 18 right. Can she do that before February? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> That's what I told her. I'm like, I'm not even worried. I'm not concerned. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm not I, know, I, know, I, know, I know it's hard. I just know you, like, I'm just not worried because like, I just know. No, no. And I've been able to go through, I always pick like the two correct ones and mm -hmm. and so I'm able to identify wrong answers so that's good for me so yeah I've noticed a lot just in like the past five days so um you know I just like I'm so eager to like learn and just start doing it and just practicing because I know that that's what's going to get better um and I just wish like I could just do like 24 hours of LSAT and just learn everything stick it in here and then just go Thank you.